The click of handcuffs is now being heard not just by those causing violence on the streets, but those like Jordan Parler sitting at home, stirring it up on their phones. He told his 1,500 Facebook friends that every man and his dog should smash this hotel in Leeds housing refugees, forcing it into lockdown when windows were later broken. Jailing him for 20 months, the judge said it didn't matter that he wasn't there himself. Although you said that you had no intention of carrying out any act of violence, there can be no doubt that you were inciting others to do so. Otherwise, why post the comment? You expressed remorse, but by that time, it was too late. On the same day as Parler's post, the real-world consequences of online words were seen in Rotherham when rioters attempted to set a hotel on fire. A man who posted online that that was 100% the plan, father of three, Tyler Kay, has been jailed for more than three years. That's a reminder to everyone that whether you're directly involved or whether you're remotely involved, uh, you're culpable um, and you will be put before the courts if you've broken the law. On the streets, two men who joined a counter-protest against the far right in Leeds on Saturday were jailed for attacking a group of men on their way home. Adnan Gafour and Samir Ali said they lashed out after being racially abused. They received sentences of 18 months and 20 months. The judge said it made no difference if they were racially abused. The violence they responded with was illegal, shocking and distressing. And he said the law applies to everyone no matter their race, religion or political persuasion. It also takes no account of stupidity, like pushing a burning wheelie bin and falling flat on your face right in front of the police. Stacey Vint from Middlesbrough was jailed for 20 months. The authorities hope the growing gallery of the convicted and the speed of their imprisonment will continue to deter others from violence this weekend.